I'm chairing the subcommittee of cabinet that is dealing with the distribution of the care packages to over 60,000 households across the island. We are working very closely with the Barbados Defense Force, who is obviously the entity that is responsible for the distribution. And we've been meeting for the last week or so since the Prime Minister would have announced to the country that we would have been coordinating this effort. And let me just say at the outset that it has not been an easy task. Uh, many of us as MPs coordinate hampers in our constituencies, a couple hundred, a few thousand. Um, this effort is 60,000, um, and it's 60,000 vulnerable households, people who obviously, because of the current climate in the country, are obviously experiencing a greater need than they ordinarily would do. And therefore, it has made our task a lot heavier in terms of trying to make sure that we get to all of the people who really, really need it. Um, but we have a committee that has been focused on touching every single community, every vulnerable household. Uh, we have been working very closely with the civil society. Um, a number of the NGOs have basically shared information with us. Um, we've been pulling that information together and pretty much targeting specific areas um, as the, the first tier. And then we will move into other areas based on also information that we've received from the helplines. Um, there are two helplines, as you know. Uh, one is through the Ministry of People's Empowerment. There's also another helpline that has been set up to, to supplement that as well because we've been getting so many calls also. But we have been trying to get into those communities based on the information received, but also our general understanding of where the greatest needs are across the country. Uh, we started yesterday with a, what I consider a soft launch, trying to test the logistics, trying to make sure that we could fine tune any issues that perhaps might arise. <laughs> um, we recognize that um, obviously we had to make sure that we had sufficient manpower, sufficient vehicles, that all of the items that we were either expecting to be delivered or the items that were due to come into the country that we had to you know, coordinate that effort to make sure that we had everything. We have been using um, two bases at present. The hope is that we will start to expand additional bases once we have fine-tuned this first one here at Queen's College. But the intention is that we will set up areas that we are able to make the distribution process a lot easier. And um, the base here um, is pretty much an operating base that is um, facilitating the packaging of items, just as we're having at B um, B BDF. BDF. We also have um, the Barbados Agricultural Development Marketing Corporation. They have various locations as well where we have a number of persons who are packaging um, and working very hard as well to be able to support the effort. So. We have to combine all of the goods, whether it's dry goods, whether it is household supplies, uh, whether it is vegetables and fruits. We're trying to coordinate everything so that people have a pretty much balanced basket of goods um, being made available to them. We've had a few teething issues at first, as you can appreciate, because neither neither of us um, involved, none of, no one involved in this process rather, has been ever involved in something of this magnitude. Um, but we've been again meeting and we've been fine-tuning the processes and I believe that we are a bit closer now to be able, being able to roll out over the next couple of days a ramping up of the resources across the country um, so that we can get these items into the households of the persons who are in greatest need. Um, let me just also um, say that you know it has been touching to see um, the support that we've gotten from civil society and in particular also from the churches, the faith-based organizations. It has also been um, a journey working with the Marbella's Defense Force. Um, these soldiers have been working tirelessly. All the arms of, of the Barbados Defense Force, the Barbados Coast Guard, the Barbados Regiment, Force Headquarters staff, regular soldiers, reservists, even some of our civilians have come out to be part of the national effort. Really, as I think has been echoed in several other forums, um, to, to extend a helping hand um, in this time of you know global crisis and certainly a crisis that has, has impacted Barbados. So